praising the Lord, that is just what we are doing. We are praising the Lord. Mom, guess what? I know what, what 60, 632 Ron Tessner's 100. Really? What is it? Um, what is it? Yeah. 600. Okay, but what does that have anything to do with what we're talking about? I'm just telling you because I'm learning math. Awesome. I'm proud of you. Okay, so listen. I'm going to tell you again. Okay. And Luke, what was it? Luke, Luke 10, 19. Very good. You're so smart. What's up? See, it says, look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your name is registered in heaven. So, That's it. you don't want to boast about yourself. You don't want to praise brag. yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, you don't want to brag. The only praise yourself is praising the Lord. Yes. Because you, you're, praising, you're, you're praising yourself by like praising yourself with the Lord. You, give, you gotta give all the glory yeah. to God. Because do demons flee by your power? No. Whose power? Whose power? God's. That's right. And what name? What name? Yeah. Jesus. In Jesus' name. That's right. And so in Jesus' name, God has given us power and authority, which means that those evil spirits have to listen to us. So can you believe that you are eight years old? And the devil has to listen to me. That's right. Even the babies. Even the what? Babies. Okay. Yeah. You know how the babies go to heaven? They got to listen to a baby. Cause, well, let's cause not I know, focus so wait, much I know some on babies, babies who, but No, wait, I'm just saying that I know some babies who worship the Lord. Well, all ba okay. Remember no. the picture on the computer? Oh, that's back, silly. That's just being back silly. Back off, devil. I, I, be to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. <laughs> that's right. Like you know, all babies belong to Jesus. Yeah, cause, you know, because they're cause, innocent. Yeah, they, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know. Yeah, they don't know if they it's pick not up like, a gun and shoot them. Right. Shoot someone. They don't know. Exactly. Because what happens if they shoot a bad person? They don't know yeah. because they're babies, you know. Babies are very kill. spiritual. Yeah. Babies, you know, God loves the children. You know what the Bible says about children? What? That the kingdom of heaven belongs to those such as these. That you have to humble yourself and you have to become like a child to enter into the kingdom of God, into, into heaven. You have to, you know why? Why? Why do you think that is? Why can't the adults walk the streets of heaven? You know why? Because adults get too prideful. You know what prideful that? means? No. They get... I heard pride, but not prideful. Okay, well, do you, what does pride mean? I learned that in first. Okay. All right. It means oh that you pretty much don't need anybody, that you can do it all on your own, and your way is the way, and that's just how it is. Wow. Right? And so, so adults so can get like that. Adults can be like, I don't need anybody. You know, all I do is I work, I pay my bills, and I don't need. Like, some women can be prideful in themselves and not think that they need a husband. Mom, just so you know, someone forgot to tell you at my school. The, the reason why I'm saying this because I got into trouble that teacher I'm not to stop the thing. I'm just saying this because I'm being responsible. We were just talking, but okay. I know. Um, The teacher said, I was like mm. faking like, like, oh, like Xander was talking with the teacher and I was right behind the teacher with book. Oh, I was like faking that I was gonna hear how like, and I you really what? wasn't. You were faking what? That that I had a book and I was gonna hear her head. Why like, would you do that? I'm like, I'm like, eh. Why would you do that? 
I thought it was fine. Well, I thought it was hey, Who saw you? Xander just told the teacher and he's my best friend. Oh, Xander told on you? Yeah, when he's my best friend and I... Yeah. And I only told on him and the teacher doesn't <sighs> listen and he doesn't focus, but... Scotty. But now let's get back. Well, no, because there was something inside of you. See, we're talking about God, right? Yeah. And we're talking about Jesus and we're talking I'm just about telling you authority, right? Yeah. So, because we're talking about Jesus right now, and where he's the center of our conversation, it is the spirit inside of you that wanted to confess that, right? So you don't realize it, but it is actually the spirit of God that is living inside of you that wanted you to confess that's what you did he wanted you to bring it out into the light and into the open because the bible tells us that we must confess our sins to like, one another like you know you don't have to tell everybody your, you know what you did but i know that's what i do person, all the time at least tell the lord you know yeah and and then ask for for forgiveness yeah like 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 me like, so, like Anthony said last time. Hold that, on, we're talking about this. Yeah. Right? Let's yeah. not jump around, right? Yeah, I'm okay. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so with this teacher, you know, and then this is your new teacher, the one you just met? Oh, uh, no, not, not Miss Nisla. No, this is someone Ellen else? From the Extend of Day. Oh, okay. Were you trying to be funny? No. I'm just going to do it for fun. Yeah, you're trying to pretend you're going to hit her in the head for fun. Like, that's not... I was pretending, not, though. So, do you think that's funny? No. I just thought it was fun. Right. Do you know how to spell funny? F -O. Oh. How? F U N N E Y. And there's then no there's. E. Uh, yeah, I meant. Yeah, I didn't say E. You did. No? I said F U N N Y. Not E Y. Yeah, Because I messed up. Because when I said E, I was like, Y real quick. Because I was like, I know. It's okay. But you see, when you do things, when you think something is funny you do things harmlessly and just thinking it would be fun but I know you and I know that you are a little character and you like to make people laugh you know and you think by being funny or acting a certain way it will bring you friends but you don't have to try so hard. I you don't want to get friends I know because when some people say you know I'm not gonna be your friend I say I don't care well, you do. A little. But listen. Remember, we always, I always pray for you to be the Jesus that people see. You know, a lot of people don't know God, and a lot of people don't go to church, believe it or not. You know? And it is very, very important. That's why we pray, and we put on that armor of God every day. Because... I want you to do good. God wants you to do good. You have that goodness inside of you. You know, you are a wonderful child. You are an awesome kid. You are loving. You are the most sweetest helper, you know. And I love you so much. And it is, you know, the Bible tells us to, what, to love people, right? Mm hmm to love people and to what? To love our enemies. But so what does that mean? It means to love wait, people that so are mean to you. Are we supposed to love the devil? No. That that that's a whole different level oh. of that. You know, we are supposed to be nice to those who do wrong to us. I know, and that's we are why to do, like, pray for them. Mm. Right? So this teacher so do you so do you feel, now looking back, do you feel like what you did was right? No. 
And if you I could redo it, would you do it over? No. What would you do instead? I would behave and not do it. Yeah. Only if I had a remote to reverse back in time. I know. I wish that could happen so I could go back to the old days before you. Oh, I know. You miss Oreo. So I'm going to tell you after. Okay. I'm going to tell you the thing after the prayer. I mean, after the... Um, okay, so after. let me tell you. Um, so because, you know, so the spirit inside... It knew that this was bothering you. It knew what you did was wrong, right? The Holy Spirit living inside of you, God. So he brought that to the light. He brought that out to the open for you to clear that from your heart. Yeah. What? You just spit on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did it again. Uh, sorry. I don't mean to spit on you. Anyway. Okay. So... He did that to clear your heart, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's important that we have a clean heart, right? It is important that our that our hearts are that we go to bed. We always have to ask God for forgiveness, you know. Always. Every night, because we sin. Because sin is a natural thing that we just do. Wait, Mom. You know, by slipping and, you know, saying, I mean, it just, it, it happens. There's intentional sin and then there's unintentional sin. And that is, so every day, see, God gives us grace. He gives us mercy and every morning is new. He gives us a new day. So he gives us, like today, you know, it's going to be a new day. We're going to go to bed, and then tomorrow he's giving us a new day of his mercy. Right? His mercies are new every morning, which means what you did wrong today, you can make up for it tomorrow. And, you know, just don't do it again, Right? You gotta remind you treat people with kindness, with love and respect. Right? Mm-hmm. And so I'm tired. Yeah. And so I guess Xander that must have affected him. What had the way that you acted to the teacher. He just told on me. I know, he but he was my friend. Yeah, he was. He cares about you. And he was laughing. He was laughing. Well, maybe that's something you when should talk doing, about with him. He, he thought it was funny. He thought it was funny. Yeah, when I was. But drinking. yeah, he told on you. Yeah, he was laughing. That's just something you need cause to. Because it was a joke, and then he just told on me. Oh. Like well, like this girl at my school. There's a girl at my school, and I didn't even do anything to her, and she just called me a loser. She called you a loser? Mm-hmm. Aw. I'm like, just pray for her. Say, I'll pray for you in Jesus' name. I'll pray for you in Jesus' name. Yeah, just pray for her. What's her name? Uh, you know, I forgot. sometimes, Scotty. It's so for Jay. Because in, in elementary school, you know... You are you like little girls and little boys. She does not. They like have me. crushes, you know. They do not like. She does and, not like me. Well, I don't know. Sometimes children are mean. Like little girls, they they'll push somebody, and that's their way of saying, "Hey, I like you," without actually saying it. Like because Mariana, there's no confidence. Sometimes she says, "But I'm you, you're eight years old. You don't need any girlfriends." Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I don't want to be single. Oh, honey, you are eight years old. I'm talking about no, not no, not like getting married. <sighs> I was about to until she's like got going a little weird. Wait, you're about to get married? I was with Kaylee, but she's a little weird. I don't. How even is know. she weird? She said she was a dragon. Uh, underground, yeah. and I'm like, what? I'm, I'm like, um, H E L L. She's like, no, not that place. I'm like, oh, thank God. Well, honey, 
Because, you know, Any she's type of dragon is H-E-L-L, is Satan. <laughs> Satan is the dragon who has cast it out of heaven. But the only dragon that is good is a god dragon. No, God doesn't what? have dragons. Not even a good one? No, dragons are evil, sweetheart. What about Pete the dragon? See, that that is Pete's on dragon. a whole other level. It's the devil comes as an angel of light, right? So the, the enemy uses all of this stuff to bring people into his kingdom, you know? Exactly, just like that. He tries to bring and make it look fun, and he makes it look very cool. Like a tug and of war. Pretty and like a tug of war. And it is. In heaven, there is tug of war going on with your soul. See, there's God who wants you. And then there's, and the, then devil. there's the devil who yeah, I was, wants you. I was thinking that in my head. Yep. I was thinking that in my head a few minutes ago. Hmm. I know. I know that it's like a tug of war. Or like. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, whose side do you want to go on? God's hmm. side, but the devil attacked me even more. Right. But you know what? When that happens. Like we are right here in Luke 10. Yeah, we're like in 19. the middle of the Bible. We're in the middle of the Bible. What does it say? But it says, always don't be on. Like, this is the God side. No, no, no. Read read this right here. Oh. Read I can't, this. I can't read tiny words. Oh, I'll just try it. Look. It says, look. Look. Verse 19. Okay. Look. I have given you authority over all... All the power of the enemy, and you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Nothing will injure you. 20. But don't rejoice because the evil spirits obey you. Rejoice you because your names are registered in heaven. All right. Jesus, mm-hmm. At the same time, Jesus was filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit, and he said, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and for revealing revealing them to childlike. To the childlike. Keep going. Almost done. Yes, Mm. Father. It pleased you to do it this way. So you see here? Mm. To reveal it. So Jesus is praying to the Father. And he is saying thank you for revealing this to those who are childlike. I don't understand, but okay. Okay, well, we can, I can, I, I can see you're tired. <laughs> yeah. But if you're wanting to understand, we can... I, I can, don't understand right now. Though. Not right now? But basically, remember what I told you, how the kingdom of what Jesus said is that you must become like a child to enter the kingdom of heaven. Because what do children, and this is what we were talking about, is that adults can get prideful. Adults can think that their way is the way, and that's it, right? Okay. Slow what? down. What did I do? Sorry. You're talking fast. <laughs> but it's true, right? Mm-hmm. Adults can think that their way is the way, and that's it. But God says what? No. Jesus says what? I am the way. Right? Yeah. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. And I'm... no one can come to the Father except through mm-hmm. me. Mom, guess what? You just gave me two things. I am the way from the Jesus calling yeah. and a different one. Really? Okay. Cool. But see... So, Jesus says, I am the way. So, we are not the way, but 
we know the way. We are not the way. We know the way because Jesus is the way. If you don't know Jesus, then you don't know the way and you are lost. But if you know Jesus, then you are headed down that right road and you need to keep following Jesus. Yeah. Because he says, those who will pick up their cross and follow me and deny yourself. Every day we have to deny ourselves. We have to. Yeah, I did that when, before. You did? You know Tell how? me how. Um, at my camp, um, when, when Kaylee drew a crab, a good crab, a at crab? my camp, we were doing a competition who was best out of the summer. I was like, mmm, good crab. So I draw the crab, and guess what? What? She said, oh my god, this looks sucky and stupid. Whoever drew this is just sucky. <gasps> and guess what? That and sounds I was, nice. And, 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 they said, and I was like, yeah, it is. And what happened? And then they said, did you draw that scar? And I was like, no. But you did? But So why didn't you say that you did draw it? Because I didn't want to get picked on. You were scared? Aw, oh, honey. Because that was the time when, not not my girlfriend Sophie, the Sophie asked that he, that used to like me, but now she doesn't. Oh. Not the Sophie H, because the Sophie H was the one that kissed me. What? Oh, my gosh. Mm. Okay. So, remember, okay, that kingdom of heaven belongs to those like children. And like I was talking about, that adults can get prideful. Like you? Or no? Do I get prideful? I don't know. Do I think I know everything? For me, I think you do. But... You think I know everything? No, do you think I don't need help? See, being prideful means I don't need help from anybody. That I know what I'm doing. I know how to do it. I don't need to read this Bible because I know how to do it. Okay, okay. Slow right? down. That, but I know that I don't know anything. Okay, okay. First because thing. I know that if I try to live my life without God... Okay, you're right. You first, are not like I that. will destroy you my life. You are not like that. Rebuke the devil. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes, amen. Thank you. You know, I can't do anything without the Lord. So, like children, I have to humble myself, and I have to look up to God, look up to heaven, and talk to Jesus. And ask him to take control of my life. Take control of my life and help me to be a mother to you. Help me to be a daughter to my mom. To and to your help daughter. me to be the best servant that I can. To God. To be of maximum service. To God. To the Lord. You know? So I do my best to not be prideful, to not allow a spirit of pride to enter me, you know. And so, yeah. So, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And that's it. Good talk. I love you. So, did you learn something tonight? Not that much that I know of. <laughs> but I know but that, what about what? But I know but that. What I about should, what we but, just? But, 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 Scotty, you never let me have to talk that that much. You had to talk all this time. I think the lesson that I learned is do the right stuff that God tells me to do and go down the right road. Yeah. And I shouldn't do funny stuff that's wrong. Right. You shouldn't... You know, we're living in a time where evil is good and good is evil. That sometimes by doing the wrong thing, people think it's funny, but it's not. You know what I saw on TV? What? That people were lighting, them, putting alcohol, rubbing alcohol, 
on babies. alcohol, no, on themselves, and then lighting themselves on fire, thinking it's funny. Oh my God! The only the only thing that you should do if you're gonna set yourself on fire is on America's Got Talent. Just be suited, like. Well, even that's that kind of crazy, you know. Crazy, but don't do it like. But, but you see. On yourself and but that's what that's how people's mentality. The devil has deceived people and tricked people into thinking that if you do wrong, it's good and it's funny. But really, it's not, you know? For some so reason, I'm, it sounds I'm, like I already know this. You do know this. You know why? I already do. Because you are smart. You're smart. I don't need any help. I mean, I do need some help. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you Oops. know that. I'm and that's why I learned, too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I forgot about that because I just said that. <laughs> and that just reminded me because God made me remind me. Yes, the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's right. So, Mom, now I want to talk. Okay? Okay. We want to talk. This about? new girl, I didn't even do anything. She's new this year. And I didn't even do anything to her. She's in STEM day, and I'm glad that she's not in my class. Okay. And I didn't even do anything to her. I'm nice to her. I don't do anything. And she just hits me. And gets, she hits you. Wait, no, wait, no. No, uh -oh. like, no, she doesn't hit me. She only just, like, the hits, like, I'm talking about, like, like she calls me a loser. Mm -mm. And then last time. Last when was time the last I, time she did this? Last time. I don't know. When I first saw her on an extended of day. And, and guess what? Last time, she just said, you're a loser. I'm like, and then I guess, but today when I when I was playing, um, when I was, when, I, when Maria said, "Let me go on," but um, and 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 she and she was gonna go on here. I was like, "No, this computer doesn't work. You can't go on this computer. It doesn't oh. work." And she said, "I'm rude." I'm saying, "How is that rude?" I just told her that this is bro a broken computer. Mm. And she and she didn't answer the back. I said, you're rude for calling me. I didn't get, bring up the loser, but but if she's the one that actually killed my cat, I'll bring up that. Well, almost. Because remember when... I got so confused just now. <laughs> but, first of all, okay. And this brings us right back, right? That right to now, treat people that are, that are mean to you. Well, what do we do? Because we're not supposed to be like everybody we else. We be nice to them. Right. So, and what could you do? Next time this happens, what can you do? Could you be, be nicer. like, say, hey, whatever her name is. What's her name? I forgot. Okay. I'm going to tell you tomorrow. Okay. Well, call her by her name and be like, why are you so mean to me? Just ask her that. Be, confront her with, and ask her... Why are you so mean to me? Because maybe there's something going on in her life at home. And if she says, I don't know, that means I think she likes me. You know, never know. But ask her, because maybe she's not really aware of how her behavior is. And maybe there's something going on at home that is that she's struggling with. And maybe that's something, you know, we can pray for tonight. We can pray for her. You know, you want to pray for her right now? No, no. I think we I still want to have time to... I think we should. It, may, it will help, yeah. trust me. You know, there are people that I do not like. And I... Really, honestly, they did me so dirty and so wrong that, I mean, and when I say wrong, I mean wrong mm -hmm. things. And I'm not even going to tell you because you're so young. But, like, they... Mom? What? I was just gonna about to say, let's see how tomorrow goes, and then let's, how about we pray about her if tomorrow no, goes okay? Because... But I knew you were going to say no. Exactly. Because you know what? There's a reason why we're talking about this conversation is because God is wanting us to pray for her, mm. you know? Because mm -hmm. we don't know what's going on. 
but I know that prayer changes things. And I know that the enemy doesn't want us to pray, which means that we should pray. Because we don't listen to the enemy. We listen to the Lord. So, let's pray for her. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. Sit up. Uh, Come on, you can do it. Come on. I'm trying to do it. Rah! Ready? Okay. Come on, sit up. It feels like... Okay. Well, I have to be against the wall just in case I fall in Well, ball. you're going to be speaking, so... Ready? Go. Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. No, no, no. You're going to pray from your heart. Okay? Don't don't just repeat me. I know. I've heard you, you pray. God is raising you up to be a mighty prayer warrior, and you're going to change things. But then how come you started? Okay. Well, then here you do it. Go ahead. Okay. Sit. Wait. What? You can do it. Because I was going to start off like you okay, did. Okay, we'll start it off. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord God. Thank you for dying on the cross for us to save us. Lord God, there's this mean girl at school. That I want you to make her stop being mean to me. Lord God, Lord God, thank you for, for everything that you have done. And let all these bad people... Um, is rejoice bad? Or rejoice good? is good. Okay. Lord, let all the bad people rejoice you, Lord God. Lord God, let all the people worship you and worship you until they mean it. Lord God, let let me know about know more about you and let know her know about you more. Let her praise you and worship you, Lord God. And let her be nice, nicer to people, and and stop calling me people mean names, and stop being mean like everyone else. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. That was awesome. Amen, Scotty. That was from the heart. And you know what? I'm gonna promise you something right now. When you go to school, within this next week. You're going to see a difference. She's going to start being nicer to you. And I want you to come home with the praise report and be like, Mom, guess what? She was actually nice to me today. I believe it. Do you believe it? But it takes time. Hey, it is possible with God. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Because he can do anything oh when you did that face that i was like <laughs> you can do anything so amen that was an awesome prayer i love you well you got a movie to watch 